Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1987 Japanese exclusive Headmaster Warrior Leon. So what we're going to do this video, we're going to take him out there in a second, have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to have a look at his more up to date version which is why he may be a little bit familiar to you as there was a Titans Return from 2016 version of him. We can also see how he looks and displays with the rest of his exclusive headmasters that again were only released in Japan and because he is a headmaster we're going to see how he fits and looks on standard headmaster figures and indeed some headmaster junior figures as well so as you can see quite a bit to get through with this video so as I start to pack these away I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out right so let's have a quick look at this and I've got to confess pretty much straight away that this wasn't his original box if you've seen any of my videos on this channel you'll probably have noticed that this was Kirk's box but they were all packed in an identical box the only difference was the bubble and of course I don't have his now, the interesting thing about the box is that on the one side you've got the headmaster warriors they're all classed as headmaster warriors but these are the ones that turned into beasts and then on the other side you've got the headmasters which turned into robots so there was three of each six in total and there they all are and they've got some strange names as well, as I'll try and remind myself as we go. In fact, let's have a go. We've got Rodney, we've got Kirk, we've got Trizer, we've got Shuffler, and we've got Leon. And there's always another one that I completely forget, but I'm going to remember it uh, before the end of the video. Anyway, let's have a look at this guy. So here he is. It's, it's so clever for what it is. These are quite sought after, and you can see why, because they were so small, and you'd imagine them getting lost um, and exactly that to be fair and they are quite intricate even the transformation process on him isn't as simple as you think it's going to be it's nothing like the normal um, headmasters where you just simply fold them in half right let's have a look at have a look well let's have a look at this mode this is the lion mode so you can see here we've got full articulation well full articulation in what would be the top so the hips on the front legs and the rear legs you can lift the head slightly up and down as well but that is mainly only for transformation purposes if we have a quick look at the 2016 titans return version you can see where the homage has come from um, and indeed in a second you'll see when we take well, when i transform him into his robot mode you will see that oh let's see is this guy going to come out um that he's going to look very similar to that in honesty so i'm going to keep the line just to one side and also you can see how small the new versions are i suppose compared to some of the original headmasters they really are tiny but right let's have a quick look at this guy so nice and carefully we're going to bring the head forward and then what we're going to do we're going to start to fold the legs very carefully at the hinge back up here like so we can then rotate this all the way around and this will line up on the back of the head and this will come down as well and pretty much line up there then we can in fact let's lift that up you can tilt that behind there and that's how you can hide the tail as well so let's repeat the same process on this side rotate this around let's come this way it's just catching on there ever so slightly bringing it down i hate transforming these things they really scare me and indeed there he is in fact let's just lift this up just to get the tail out of the way a second no nope, it's tucked away nice and neat there which you can see now if you wonder if this is a ko or how to check if it's a ko all the originals have takara can i get it to focus on it there we go they have takara 87 stamped on them none of the ko's or the reissues will have that so funnily enough let's bring this newer version in as you say you can see pretty much the homage to him there not too bad at all I've just remembered the names. Kirk, Rodney, Loafer, as in the shoe, Shuffler, Trizer, and of course, Leon. So these are the six that were all exclusives um, and they didn't have any bodies or transectors as they were known in Japan. They just came with these, as I say, in these small little packets. 
Right, let's have a look. So this is obviously an Autobot. They were all Autobots as well. There was no Decepticons at all. So we've got Hybro. I've took Hybro out. And I suppose the cool thing about this is this, of course, was Gort's readings. Oh, is he going to fit in? Which you can see we're all pretty much even. And then if we take him out and then we're going to put Neon in, you can see they're all different. And you can see what I mean about these warriors. They are much, much stronger than your standard headmasters now you can insert these into the headmaster junior uh, figures as well but of course the problem with this is that the barrel is all the same so it doesn't matter what headmaster i put in it will all come out the same so let's carefully take him out but you can indeed pop him on there as you can see and he's huge so when you see it from the side it's a much much bigger head um same size as the normal ones so if i get as I say, um, he is Gort. Yeah, he's definitely Gort. Highbrow and Gort. There he is in robot mode. And I'm going to put Kirk next to him. So you can see they are pretty much about the same size. But again, they did have all different readings. Um, and they just looked bigger. Like you can see there when that folded out. Let's get this nice and careful in as well. Just so you can see what I mean. That they did all have these different readings. There we go. Let's take him out of the way anyway. Let's carefully pop Oh, I'm going to leave that until I'm off camera because it feels really tight. Right, let's get Leon back anyway. So this video, as I say, was specially requested by a subscriber. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm sorry it's took me so long to get around to doing it. Let's have one final quick look then at him in his alternate mode, his lion mode. Obviously, let's bring these feet around because then in honesty, I doubt very much I'm going to be transforming these again. I'm probably going to do a bit of a showcase of these on my other channel as well. If you just want to see the figures with no talking, or if you want the reviews are on this channel, the figures themselves will be on the other. Fold the tail around and fold the head up. So there you go. There's your Headmaster Warrior Beasts. And there's your normal Headmaster Warrior. Let's get rid of these um, heads, obviously. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching it, guys. Take care.